Hello everyone, good evening uh, from East Africa, um, from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, and I am so happy and excited to have this session with you. Uh, if you're joining in, please welcome aboard, and um, happy March, happy month of March. I hope you have ended the month of February well, and that you are looking forward to having a great year. Uh, first of all, let me apologize for the background noise that I'm... <laughs> That I might be, uh, you might be hearing from my end. Uh, there's a bit of construction happening where I am right now, so there might be a bit of noise. So let's get started. I am so excited to uh, launch the theme for the month of March, as you might have seen from the post that was shared uh, by Mimi Ninani. So yes, drum rolls, everyone. <laughs> So March is for people. We are going to be discussing about people. Who are the people in your life? And so this is just, you know, the urge for everyone to kind of take a, an honest inventory into your life right now, right? And, and you know, one, one of the important things is that we are not alone. So, um, so one of the things that, thank you, thank you, Mganga, Joshua, uh, Sima, welcome. Uh, good to see you. Okay, okay. So we are talking about people in your life, and we're gonna talk about this uh, throughout the month. And so um, I'm so excited. And please, please, let's engage as we move on. And um, this is a very important topic because, um, as I was saying, that you know you're not alone in this world. You're not created alone. You're not. Uh, <laughs> You're not meant to exist alone. And so it's very important to kind of be mindful of the people that are around us and be kind of intentional because whether you want it or whether you, you know it or not, the people that you have in your life have a great influence on your life. And, it's, and so it's very, very important for you to um, kind of just, you know, take that inventory into your life and, and really, you know, be intentional. And most of the time, as we will see, as we keep on talking about this, uh, this topic is that, you know, failure to kind of um, look closely to the people, the quality of people, you know, that you have in your life can kind of take away some of the appreciation. Um, you know, you might be taking some people in your life for granted, probably because, you know, they've been there and maybe you're very sure of their maybe presence or, you know, whatever value that they have in your life and probably you might not have, you know, you might not have looked at it into a very uh, positive or maybe in a very high level. So um, I'll be happy to hear from you guys and um, on, on this topic and, and how we can build, um, you know, better connections with the people that are in our lives. And I want you to kind of just, uh, Think with me as, you know, I'm going to be all over today because we are launching the, 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 the theme. And so I'll be all over talking about people and just touch on the topics that we'll be uh, talking about in the next uh, few episodes that will be coming every week. And so I'll be happy to kind of hear from you. So one of the things um, that I want you to think, just think in your, you know, when you think about people, Probably there are people that you have had in your life before. So probably you have lost them right now. They're not part of you. And then there are people whom you you have, you still have right now. You know, the people that you have chosen to keep uh, for whatever reasons. Maybe you can read, you can get rid of them or because you value them and you want them to be in your life. And also there are people that you, you will meet uh, from now onwards. And that is like, it's open, you know, it's an open door. There are people that you will come across with, people that you will meet, and those people might not necessarily be a part of your life. So you will have to be intentional if you want to be intentional, or you know they might be a part of your life by you letting them be without maybe not being intentional. And then there are people whom you will have in your life, right? People that you will choose to, to have, to keep in your life. And so, uh, and then, you know, the cycle goes on and on, meaning that when you have chosen to keep the people in your future in your life, and then you will lose 
some of them again. So when you lose them and then you will keep and then, you know, the cycle goes on and on. And probably as I'm saying this to you, you can just think about the people in your life right now. Maybe what, who are the people that you have, you kept? Who are the people that you lost? Who are the people that you still keep right now, right? And who are the people that you're looking forward to meet and keep? And maybe who are the people that you're looking forward to let go? Because that's, uh, that's, that's part of life and that is part of growing. And so uh, I think, you know, we need to be very honest into that, you know. And um, there's, you know, I, I said about how people have a powerful influence in our lives, even your neighbors. So you might not be um, interacting a lot with your neighbors, but if they are doing things that influence you, let's say they're playing certain music, <laughs> you might find yourself getting influenced by that music. And so, you know, the, the people that you hang out with, people that you talk to, people that you allow in your Seiko, you know, they have a huge influence in your life. And a lot of research is done, you know, is done about um, looking at, at, at that, the impact of people in people's lives. And, and there is a, even a common phrase that we know, I think by Jim Rohn that says, show me, uh, five people in your life and I'll tell you the kind of a person that you are, something like that. Or tell me the people that you're with, the close people in your network, and I'll tell you what kind of a person that you are, right? And so, um, so a lot of research has been done, you know, to, 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 to see, is, is there any truth to that, to that? You know, are there any influences that come with your, you know, your associations with certain people? And they found out, you know, that is very true in so many ways. So for instance, uh, this is, um, and they would look at how people, and sorry to say this, I think maybe because it's easy to measure, like people who are obese, um, who were found to be obese, um, they will be influenced by the people that were around them who were also obese by 57%. So that means if, an, if, if, if a person has a network or is close to people who are obese, that means they have 57% um, chance to, to be obese. And, 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 and also they looked at um, on other factors like happiness. So happiness was like if you're around people who are happy, so you are also likely to be a happy person and that will increase the chances by around 27% if I'm not mistaken. And so, you know, there is great truth to that. And so we have to be very meaningful because opposite of positive is negative. So if you, and as much as you, you get influenced by the positivity when you're around positive people, you can as well get intoxicated by, you know, by a lot of negative energy that can come from you being around, um, you know, negative or toxic people. And sometimes, you know, there are people that maybe they're part of, of, of our network or our associations, not because we were very intentional in choosing them. Maybe we just found that we're already with them. And you know, <laughs> we're kind of just, you know, you're looped in that connection. You can't just let go easily. Maybe it was your classmate, someone you just started ne sitting next to and all of a sudden you've spent four years together as classmates. And so you influence each other and it's hard to kind of just break from you know such uh, relationships when you find maybe it's not really beneficial to you so I you know I, I really think we need to kind of be very purposeful when we think about people in our lives uh, thank you everyone who is joining in Danny Rono I see you uh, Kevin's uh, welcome so we are talking about people in our lives and just for for, for a minute there I, I would like for you guys to to just write down, I'd like to read your inputs, your comments, and even those that will find this uh, on recorded. Please, I just want you to think about people in your life. When you think about them, write down an adjective or a verb or, um, or a noun that really um, symbolizes the people in your life. So for instance, I, when I think of people in my life, I look at the word that comes is like people are bridges, uh, people are supporters. So people in my life are my customers, my beneficiaries. So what are people in your life? So just, just write down what comes to you when you think about people in your life and, and be very honest. 
So for me, I made a very long list. <laughs> I'll just keep mentioning as I am waiting to read from you guys. So um, it would be nice to hear from you. So for me, people are teachers. I've, I've met teachers, I've, I've had teachers in my life uh, from the people around me. People are nurturers. People are peacemakers. People are cheerleaders of, of my dreams. <laughs> I like that phrase from uh, I think it's Terry Terry Saville. Yeah, she 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 kind of talks that a lot. Like you know, cheerleader of dreams is like a, a phrase. So people have been cheerleaders of my dreams. Uh, people have been compassionate um, to me. Uh, listeners, yeah, and and caregivers. So what what are people to you? What are people to you? I have egos who have made me fly. Oh, that's awesome, Kevin. Thanks for sharing that. Okay, so who are people to you? I'd love to read. What comes, what adjective, what word, what noun comes to your heart or to your mind when you think about people in your life right now? And it's okay. Um, oh, Danny, encourages life is a team sport. Okay, yeah, yeah, you need, you need, you need encourages. Okay, thank you for sharing that. All right, all right. And so, probably, you know, if, if good words are easier to come by, probably you are most likely surrounded by good people, right? But if maybe it's <laughs> the other words, then probably you also need to kind of look at it. Maybe it's your past, and sometimes it's those bad experiences of from people that have made you to be stronger and something like that. So I don't know your current situation or your past experience, but probably people have played different roles in your life. Oh, Kevin's, you say crocodiles who have eaten my dreams. <laughs> oh, okay, that's, that's a sad one, but I hope you got lessons out of it. Okay, thank you for sharing. And so, um, you know, we are going to, to have, I'm, I'm left with only three minutes, but um, let me just quickly talk about what we are going to be talking about in the next three weeks. And uh, so we'll be talking about different aspects of people. And some of them is how you differentiate people from crowds. I know, <laughs> I know we, we can have, right now I'm sure if you think about people in your life, probably you might have quite a number of people, but if I ask you to go deeper, deeper, like, who do you call when you're in deep trouble? <laughs> or who do you want to share your greatest, happiest news? That list might go to, you know, you might narrow down to quite maybe less than three or five people, right? <laughs> so we don't want just to have people, right? But, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't make sense to say like, I have 5,000 friends on Facebook, you know, so what do they do to you? Do they make you money? Do they make you a better person? Do they, you know, um, do they teach you? Do they correct you? Like what, what do those people, you know, add value to you? And, and, you know, vice versa, how do you add value to those people? Like their presence, what does it mean to you? So it's just more than having just some figures, some crowd in your life or in your phone book or in your social media pages, you know, you need to have some uh, significance to that. So it's very important. And then we're gonna talk about people in your network. So we're gonna narrow down now to the people in your networks. So, you know, looking at where you live, where you study, if you're studying, if you're working, where you work. So look at it's your neighbors, could be anything. So from where you are right now, you, who are the people in your networks, right? So it's, it's like that serious audit of your life right now. And then maybe in your phone book, if your network is, is in your phone book, you know, who are the people in your phone book? If you scroll, I'm challenging you, go through your phone book and just look at your, your networks and, and, and think about it. Who are the, do, are the, the people that you, 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 you share information? Do they add value to you? Maybe you might need to kind of delete some people or just clear the, you know, something, right? And, you know, your social media and stuff like that. And also we're gonna talk about who are the must have people in your life. So who are the must have people, you know, people that you, you really, either you don't have them right now, you need to get better in your connections and in your networks, so that you can have those people in your life. Or, you know, if you have them, then kind of strengthen. So who are the must have 
people in your life? Who are the people that you must have in your networks or your connections? And then how do you acquire and keep the right and desired people in your life? So that's very important. It's very important for you to kind of, you know, take that inventory. Now, who are the right people? Who are the desired people that I need in my life right now? Because that is very, very important. You just don't want to waste your time. And this year, we want to get better, better than the last year and ever, you know, in all those last years. So it's about you getting better. So the people in your life, you have to be very intentional about the people that you're, you want to meet and, and connect with. And lastly, we're going to deal with toxic people and how we can, you know, get rid of them, right? So we don't want to be surrounded with toxic people. And let me tell you, sometimes it's people who are close to us. It's people who are, you know, who want to take than give and, and, and a lot of, of, of things like that. So we're going to find out who are the toxic people. Maybe we've been blinded and, and haven't really seen. And then how do we really get rid of them? Because... You know, if they're not adding value, they don't need to be in our lives in the first place. So that is a very important stepping stone. And that gives you more time, more focus. You know, you don't have to hold on to the same people you've had since you were in kindergarten, since you were in primary school, my friend. If your purpose is changing, probably also your connections need to change. So I don't want to talk a lot. This was just for launching the theme. And I hope you're excited. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to having these engagements every Friday. 18.30 for just 15 minutes and we, we're gonna just hang out and talk about people and how we can get better. Mompoloki, good to see you. Elko G, good to see you. Danny Chris, um, would be happy to hear from you. Please comment, check on the IGTV, um, you know, add in your comments and just share your perspectives around people. And if you want to be in the sessions as a, you know, as a speaker, as a contributor, I'll be happy to have you on board. Just let us know, DM us, and we'll be happy to have you and, you know, you share your thoughts around these topics. So till then, have a blessed evening. And yeah, good to, good to read from you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Have a greatest evening um, or day, depending on where you are. Keep safe and keep well.